All right, tonight's devotional is the fall of Israel and Judah. Though he wasn't a perfect king, Solomon did do some good things when he was king. One of the best things he did was build a new temple for God. It was a beautiful temple that took seven years to build. When Solomon's new temple was finished, all the Israelites came together to celebrate. Solomon gave a long speech and reminded them of something very important. Solomon said that as long as the Israelites followed God, he would bless them and protect them. If they ignored God or started following other gods, then the enemies would come and carry them out of the promised land. Solomon wasn't the first one to say this. Moses had said the same thing way back at Mount Sinai. This warning had been repeated over and over. Follow God and things will be wonderful. Turn away from God and enemies will carry you out of this special land. The Israelites were no longer following God. King after king worshipped other gods. They even killed the Israelites who wanted to follow the one true God. Yet God was patient. He sent prophets to warn the Israelites again and again. Turn back to God, they'd say, or there'll be trouble. But Israel's kings ignored the prophets. They ignored the warnings. They forgot about God. And eventually, God couldn't wait any longer. He had to do what he had promised he would do, even though it made him very sad. Two great empires were growing next to Israel. In the north was the Assyrians. In the south, the Babylonians. Their kings were the strongest kings with the biggest armies the world had ever seen. And they were always at war, conquering one nation after another. It seemed like they were taking over the whole world. Finally, God stopped protecting, protecting the northern kingdom of Israel. The Assyrian army attacked Israel and destroyed it. The king and many of the Israelites were dragged away to Assyria in chains. The northern kingdom no longer existed. God was even more patient with the southern kingdom, called Judah, since the kings of Judah were the children of King David. But for every good king of Judah, there were two bad kings. For every king who turned back to God, there were two more who wandered even further away. About a hundred years after the Assyrians attacked the northern kingdom, God removed his protection from Judah in the south. Many of the people of Judah were dragged away to Babylon, which was ruled by an evil king named Nebuchadnezzar. Next, King Nebuchadnezzar and the Babylonians captured David's city, Jerusalem. What's worse, Jerusalem was burned. The walls were pulled down and Solomon's temple, God's dwelling place, place among the Israelites, was completely destroyed. Was this the end of God's people? Was it the end of God's rescue plan? Would the blessing for the whole world ever come? Okay, it says fun facts. It took King Solomon seven years to build God's temple, which had two sections separated by a veil, the holy place and the most holy place. The temple was 60 cubits, about 90 feet long, 20 cubits or 30 feet wide, and 30 cubits, about 45 feet high. Almost 400 years after it was built, the temple was destroyed by the Babylonians in 587 to 586 BC. All right, here's the questions to talk about with your family. What are some ways God showed his patience with the Israelites? Pause the video and talk about it. Next question. Why did God stop protecting the kingdoms of Israel? Pause the video and talk about it. Would you pray with me? Dear God, thank you for being patient with us as we learn what it means to honor you. Amen. I'll see you tomorrow night for another bedtime story. Bye.